Hi everyone, welcome back to Grandpa Mart's Hobbies and a build finale of our 1966 Ford Fairlane kit. This is a fantastic kit. I had almost zero problems with it and any of the problems I had, I caused. <laughs> so, the crew took off. It's Friday night. They already had a pizza and Rob stopped over and cooked a bunch of chicken. So they are already on their way home. But I had to cut this video tonight because tomorrow I want to get started on the group build for August. So let's jump right into this. First off, the color. This is straight out of the bottle XF6 from Tamiya. And this is a flat, 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 did I say flat paint? <laughs> so what you're seeing here is actually four coats of my um, Lifetone Hydro Mist. And what I did is I, I put on two coats and I uh, give it a, a quick sanding and then I put two more coats and then I did the uh, Tamias compound. This is the fine. I did both the coarse and the fine and went over it and I got this as, as good of a gloss as I'm going to get out of this XF6. So I'm and I'm really happy with it. I think when I get this outside it's going to really show it off. So the other thing that's kind of weird here is the hood doesn't have any way to attach it to the car. Um, I've had a few of them like that, but it's been a while. Um, other than the Mobius truck that I just did. The engine is really sharp. I'm going to pull you out and pull you right in here so you can see it. Very, very good detail in this engine. And then I added some bits and pieces here. I can't find my finger. I don't know what I did with it. So let me grab a paintbrush here. And I'll use it as a pointer. I added the uh, uh, battery cables, the heater hoses, I added the vacuum advance, the fuel line, the of course the uh, engine wires, the, the spark plug wires, the um, little coil expansion for the brake, the return spring and throttle cable are all run, and really that's about it. But if you look, there's a lot of nice detail in here. The engine itself has a lot of nice detail. I really liked it. I left the uh, um, air cleaner chrome. I, all I did was paint it flat white around it and then a little bit of buff dry brushed around that just to give it a little bit of life. Um, if you remember from the, the build update, when I before I painted the engine, I bare metal foiled right in here and then cut it out as close as I could to those letters you know polish the letters in and everything then paint it over that and then took one of my harder pointy q-tips and lightly rubbed that until the paint came off and it showed just the lettering and that worked out really good <laughs> it says powered by Ford so you know, there's there's a lot going on in this little engine compartment, and it it really it was fun, a lot of fun to build. This is a great kit. So let me back you back out here. The detail in this kit is everywhere. The the interior, and I'll have a music montage at the end here, like I always do. But the interior was really nice on here. The stripe was not. 100% easy to put down, but it wasn't difficult either. But for the older decals, I had no problem with it. Just, you know, you don't. it has a lot of over uh, the clear. I had to cut that off close. But I laid it down as close as I could to that door jam. And I think that looks good. The little emblem on the side here, the GTA emblem, because this is the automatic, um, looks great. I was able to paint that white and uh, and black to highlight it a little bit. I used Sharpie for my window trim just because I really wasn't in the mood to bare metal foil anything. So not too bad. The hood came out good. 
the GT emblem in the center here is awesome. I got a picture of that in there too that I'll show you. Now let's roll over to the bottom and I'm going to have to eat a little bit of crow. <laughs> so I weather as I build and I had the wrong <laughs> drive shaft and don't you know I forgot I painted this one and then got everything going and I completely forgot to weather that so we're gonna say he blew the drive shaft out at this track and uh, <laughs> had to get a new one put in until I get this video done and then I'll, I'll weather it before I put it on the shelf for sure but we weathered the exhaust um, with Tamiya's Weathermaster C just dabbed it here and there all the way around now the the uh, uh, mufflers I put it on there really heavy and then I came back with my uh, Tamiya's panel liner and I almost painted the mufflers and then I dabbed around here and there on the exhaust too just to give it that rusted because the exhaust rust really quick on these you know back in the day the tires the back still roll but the fronts I glued in place I I'm gonna scratch that paint the uh, instead of sanding the tires they were they were in really good shape there was no need to you know worry about the mold line or anything so what I did with these is I just use my um, like desert sand colored um, pastels and I just brushed it on wiped it off with my thumb and I think it looks really good and it save that tread life on the or the tread on there too so I'm happy with that the exhaust tips I drilled those out and I went pretty deep with them this time I drilled them out and then uh, panel lined on the inside with black panel liner and around the edges if you look I did a little panel lining on those two just to show it off a little bit um, one thing that I tried because I didn't have the red lenses and this is the only part that I'm disappointed in with this kit and I'll find the red lenses as I tried to paint those and it just did not work out but it'll be okay until I can find the the red lenses to put in there and what I'll do is I'll strip that out it's it's Tammy is clear and then just uh, chrome silver on top of that and I'll strip it out paint everything and rechrome it but if you look that Fairlane logo on the back bumper is super nice it really shows up the Ford shows up the Fairlane's on the side were fairly easy to uh, paint they look really good and the interior I mean I'll show that in the in the video but the interior looked great too so instead of me keep talking I want to thank everybody for following along the thumbs up, the kind words, um, the comments, subscriptions, um, those all help keep this channel rolling. So I appreciate that big time. Now how about we let the music roll and we check out some pictures. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.